All right, uh, it's kind of a mess in here, but I'm gonna try to show you uh, where I have everything connected uh, to the back of the boiler. Uh, this here, this is my control unit. Controls the temperature. Um, this wire right here just comes out of it. And uh, that would go into the, the input labeled number one on the plans. Um, basically there's a, a thermostat that just slides right into the dry well in there. Um, uh, that measures the temperature of the water in the boiler and controls when that fan goes on and off. Um, this other wire, uh, let's see, right there that comes out of out of that controller, that just goes to the blower. So when uh, this tells the blower to turn on, um, it turns on and starts heating. Uh, the only other thing that comes out of there is just a, a power cord that plugs into power. That, uh, that stays on all the time so that it can run that. Um, so that's the the first um, the first uh, number one uh, connection on the boiler. The number two is the hot water that comes out of the boiler to feed into the um, to heat the house. Um, that's actually this line right here. I do have a valve to, to shut that off if I need to, uh, so I can change anything without you know have that water drain in here. Basically, that feeds in here, tees off to each of my pumps. Um, those pumps, I only have two, basically, actually two here, oh, that one and that one, that um, uh, goes through heating circuits in my floor. Uh, you can have as many as you want on there or, or whatever you use to heat your house. Uh, that's what I have. Um, let's see, number three is the return, or no, the, yeah, the, the hot water that comes out of the boiler for heating the house. Um, mine just goes... I know it's a mess, but anyway, it just goes into the the hot side of the boiler up there on top, or not boiler, a hot water heater um, to heat that up. It goes through this pump right here. So um, let's let's skip to number four. That's actually where that comes from. So number four comes over here. That's the cold side of the water heater. I actually have a valve on there. I control that how fast I have the flow. Uh, basically, I shut it. I, turn it down a little less than the pump normally pumps. That way the water coming out of there is actually a little bit warmer. You can kind of adjust that to fill. Um, I usually run it at night, so uh, you could leave it full and it would just eventually heat the entire tank and it would get hot either way. Um, I do this so that if uh, during the day or something I'm taking a shower um, and I have that pump going on heating hot water, uh, it's not going to cool my water down taking a shower because that feeds directly into the hot side. So if it's cold, uh, you will fill that in. You know, you won't have very hot water. Um, so that's why I have that turned down, and that's the pump that feeds it. Um, I actually run all these off of uh, timers. Um, I kind of adjusted it to uh, turn it on and off during the day and night, mostly during the night when they turn on to heat the house. Um, the hot water one, I actually only have it turn on at night for a couple hours to totally fill that tank. However, if a lot of people are going to be taking showers, I can manually turn that on. Or if it's a cloudy, cold day, um, I can manually turn those pumps on and heat the house up. Um, you could also run, um, actually you could run them all. You could run this off of the thermostat on the water heater, uh, and you could run these two off of thermostats in the bedrooms. Um, but I just have it simply hooked up to a timer. Those little timers right there. Um, to do that, and then let's see, uh, number five, uh, that's the return water. So basically these go, uh, these two pumps pump up through the house, up through the floor, and they return through, uh, I don't know if you can see it anyway, there's a valve there, they, they basically tee into that, and there's a valve in that line right there goes right back to the to the boiler to return that that cold water back to get reheated and uh, anyway that's it